Muhammad Ajmal Khan, the 11th of February 1868 to the 29th of December 1927, better known as Hakim Ajmal Khan, was a physician in Delhi, India, and one of the founders of the Jamia Millia Islamia University. He also founded another institution, Ayurvedic and Unani Tibia College, better known as Tibia College, situated in Karol Bagh, Delhi. He became the university's first chancellor in 1920 and remained in office until his death in 1927. Biography Born on the 11th of February 1868 17 Shawal 1284, Khan descended from a distinguished line of physicians who had come to India during the reign of Mughal Emperor Babar. His family were all Unani doctors Hakims who had practiced this ancient form of medicine since their arrival in the country. They were then known as the Rais of Delhi. His grandfather, Hakim Sharif Khan, was a physician to Mughal Emperor, Shah Alam and had built the Sharif Manzil, a hospital cum college teaching Unani medicine. Khan learnt the Quran by heart and as a child studied traditional Islamic knowledge including Arabic and Persian, before turning his energy to the study of medicine under the guidance of his senior relatives, all of whom were well-known physicians. To promote the practice of Tib i Unani or Unani medicine, his grandfather had set up the Sharif Manzil Hospital Cum College known throughout the subcontinent as one of the best philanthropic Unani hospitals where treatment for poor patients was free. He completed his Unani studies under Hakim Abdul Jamil of Siddiqui Dawakana, Delhi. On qualifying in 1892, Khan became chief physician to the Nawab of Rampur. Hailed as Masiha e Hind, healer of India, and a king without a crown. Khan, like his father, was reputed to effect miraculous cures and to have possessed a magical medicine chest, the secrets of which were known to him alone. Such was his medical acumen that it is said that he could diagnose any illness by just looking at a person's face. Hakim Ajmal Khan charged Rs. 1,000 per days for an out-of-town visit but if the patient came to Delhi, he was treated free, regardless of his position in society. Khan proved to be the most outstanding and multifaceted personality of his era with matchless contributions to the causes of Indian independence, national integration and communal harmony. He took great interest in the expansion and development of the native system of Unani medicine and to that end built three important institutions, the Central College in Delhi, the Hindustani Dawakana and the Ayurvedic and Unani Tibia College better known as Tibia College, Delhi, which expanded research and practice in the field and saved the Unani system of medicine from extinction in India. His untiring efforts in this field infused a new force and life into an otherwise decaying Unani medical system under British rule. Khan proposed the absorption of Western concepts within the Unani system, a view diametrically opposite to that adopted by physicians of the Lucknow school who wanted to maintain the system's purity. Khan also recognized the talents of chemist Dr. Salimazaman Siddiqui, whose subsequent research into important medicinal plants used in the field gave Unani medicine a new direction. As one of its founders, Khan was elected first chancellor of the Jamia Millia Islamia University on the 22nd of November 1920, holding the position until his death death in 1927. During this period he oversaw the university's move to Delhi from Ali Gur and helped it to overcome various crises, including financial ones, when he carried out extensive fund raising and often bailed it out using his own money. <laughs> <laughs> Nationalism Khan changed direction from medicine towards politics after he started writing for the Urdu weekly Akmal ul Akbar launched by his family. Khan also headed the Muslim team who met the Viceroy of India in Shimla in 1906 and presented him with a memorandum written by the delegation. The following year, he was present at the Dhaka inauguration of the All India Muslim League on 30 December 1906. At a time when many Muslim leaders faced arrest, Khan approached Mahatma Gandhi for help, thereafter uniting with him and other Muslim leaders such as Maulana Azad, Maulana Muhammad Ali Jawur and Maulana Shaqat Ali in the well-known Khilafat movement. Khan was also the sole person elected to the presidency of the Indian National Congress, the Muslim League and the All India Khilafat Committee. Legacy. 
Before he died of heart problems on 29 December 1927, Khan had renounced his government title, and many of his Indian followers awarded him the title of Masi ul Mulk healer of the nation. He was succeeded to the position of JMI Chancellor by Dr. Mukhtar Ahmed Ansari. Ajmaline, a class Ia antirhythmic agent and Ajmalin apparent hydride, are named after him. After partition After the partition of India, Khan's grandson Hakim Muhammad Nabi Khan moved to Pakistan. Hakim Nabi had learned Tib how to practice medicine from his grandfather and opened Dawakana Hakim Ajmal Khan in Lahore which has branches throughout Pakistan. The motto of the Ajmal Khan family is Azal ul Allah Kudatulmul, which means that the best way to keep oneself busy is by serving humanity. Quotes The spirit of non-cooperation pervades throughout the country and there is no true Indian heart even in the remotest corner of this great country which is not filled with the spirit of cheerful suffering and sacrifice to attain Swaraj and see the Punjab and the Khilafat wrongs redressed. From the Presidential Address, Indian National Congress, 1921 Session, Ahmedabad. See also Ajmal Khan Park, New Delhi, adjacent to Tibia College was named after him.